no did you grow up guns. traveling as a kid? Were you like a big, were you an adventure seeker as a kid? You traveled a lot? I didn't get, no, as a kid I didn't get, I didn't get a chance to really travel. Really? You know, my dad was a Marine and we'd, uh, you know, he'd, he'd do his stuff, but then he'd come back home and he taught me to climb when I was a kid where I was brought up on this little island in the UK. Okay. So we didn't go abroad very much, but we'd kind of hang out together and it was where I started my love of adventure. It was just I wanted to be close to him. We'd go and climb these little sea cliffs and my mum still lives there to this day. Oh, wow. So um, as soon as I could, I wanted to travel and it's why I think I first initially joined the army because it was a chance to to get out and explore and some of these places. Yeah. yeah. Where were some of the places that you went? Well, the, well, the first place I went was was northern India when I was about 17. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And uh, I remember riding on the roof of a train oh. up into the mountains and got my first ever view of Everest. Why were you on the roof? And it Why changed were you my on life. the roof of the train? Why were you on the roof? Well, there was no room in, inside. Okay. Yeah. And also, once I realized actually I could be on the roof with my buddy, it was way more fun anyway. Yeah. And it was like a three day journey up there. So. And so you saw Everest in the distance. And is that where you said to yourself, I'm going to climb that one day? Yeah, totally. I mean, the, the dream had been there since I was a kid, you know, climbing with sure. my dad. But I think there was something powerful when you first see it in the in the flesh, so to speak. And it, yeah. it definitely has shaped so much of my life and my life from then on. And, and uh, through the military, that became my job, a lot of the climbing, a lot of the survival stuff. And when I eventually got to fulfill that Everest dream after the military, that was you know, a formative time in my life. And really, it's, it's what then opened the door to TV. You know, it's then that they said, could we do a show where we drop you in difficult places and you show us how to get out of there? That was Man vs. Wild, and on yeah. the back of that, it became Running Wild and You vs. Wild, and now here we are with I Survived Bear Grylls. So, so it's been a journey. Take, 